Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube video, it's Daniela here and I've come back again with another video and I'm just showing you guys how I do my hair to do essential shopping because obviously I don't want to go out looking nasty, looking like I haven't showered or brushed my teeth. So yeah, excuse my face throughout this video, I look really grumpy because I've just woken up and I've just had a shower and brushed my teeth and gotten dressed so yeah. So I've just brushed my hair and now I'm spraying the John Frieda leave-in conditioner on my hair and I'm just brushing out all the tangles. I use this because just to make the process easier to work with so I'm just brushing, continuously brushing my hair just to smooth the product out throughout my whole, my whole hair. Um, now my I'm applying the ghost bond on my lace on places where it has lifted I do not wear bonnets to sleep because I find it uncomfortable I feel like I used to wear bonnets but now I have just at the end of the day I know my hair is going to get messy either way the bonnet always comes off which is so annoying so yeah it tends to get messy and the lace of course tends to lift so I'm just applying it on the places where it's lifting so that I can stick it back down because I don't want to look like a ghetto ass bitch. Okay. I also want to say excuse me for my dirty mirror. I always tend to use this mirror. I know it should be clean on the daily because I'm always touching it and everything. All the grime and all the bacteria. But your, your girl is lazy and... Yeah, so just ignore that please, don't judge me, I do clean my shit, okay? So what I'm doing now is, I'm just showing you guys what I've done so far. I've applied the ghost bun glue on the bits where it's lifting and I'm just taking my tweezers now. I'm using the back of my tweezers and I'm just sticking it down back onto my head. I can see some bits haven't dried but I knew that I was just going to the shops and back nowhere else so I was just like you know what it's gonna dry on my way to the shop so there's no point me stressing about it now. So now I'm taking my edge control which I bought from my local beauty supply store and I'm just placing this on my partner just so that when I use the hot comb it lays flat and I'm also going to use it on the perimeter of my hairline. So now I'm using my hot comb which I got from Amazon or eBay, I'll link it down in the description box where you can get a hot comb. I'm just using this on my partner and on my the perimeter of my hairline, just the places where I've put the edge control so that the edge control can just melt into my hair, just so it can look more flat and silky. So I've changed my camera because my other camera died, hence the quality change. 
so what I'm doing now is I'm using my baby list I think it's called an eye freak you straightener I'll link it down below but it tends to make this sound when it's on which is weird because I've never had a straightener that makes a sound when it's on but it, it's a really great straightener I don't regret buying this straightener it it goes up to 235 degrees which is brilliant because it makes my hair look bone to the straight y'all this straightener is so good i got it from very for 75 pound and i don't regret buying it so i'm just straightening in my hair because this hair this wig is thin it's easier for me to straighten quickly because i tend when i have thick hair like about three bundles or four bundles i tend to straighten my hair track by track but since this wig already came pre-made and there's less hair it was easier for me to straighten just all at once so i'm just straightening it all i'm making sure the back is straightened because i know y'all bitches you always leave the back of your hair unstraightened and it pisses me the fuck off okay <laughs> So I'm going in again with the hot comb and I don't know why I'm doing this when I already did it the first time. Do more brushing and more brushing. The hairs from the wig will probably all fall out. So here I'm using the cream of nature foam which I always use and I love using. And I'm just attempting to do my baby hairs but as you can see I cannot do baby hairs to save myself. So I'm just taking the straightener just to curl the sideburns because they were looking a bit stiff and plain. Just to make it look a bit like, you know, cute or whatever. So I've now completed styling my hair and I'm really happy with the end result. It's looking nice and straight, sleek, chic, classy. You know what I mean. So yeah, this is my second attempt. I think I switched my camera to my back to my Canon because my Sony, the quality looks smooth. But yeah, but yeah, I'm just turning around just to show you guys how it looks. I'm really pleased. As you can see, I've stuck my tongue out. <laughs> So before I go out, these are the essential things that I need to put on to protect myself from the virus. So I put my face mask on. I do this just to protect my mouth area so that I don't end up touching my mouth with my gloves. And then I also put my goggles to protect my eyes because I don't want to be touching stuff and then accidentally rub my eye. And then I finish off by wearing my gloves because I'm going to be touching things in the store and I don't want to be touching things in the store and then, you know, it goes on my hands because I will be using the self scan. So yeah, this is what I look like when I go and do essential shopping. Luckily, my parents have a local supermarket near their house so I can easily go there. So if you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.